host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here tonight with NPC national level bikini competitor and species nutrition athlete, Sandra Blockman, who's getting ready for the NPC nationals in less than two weeks. Welcome back. Thank you. It's nice to be back. Thank you. I look at you. You look so beautiful. And then I look at myself on the camera and I got this, I broke this blood vessel in my eye. I look like Anakin Skywalker from the sixth uh, Star <laughs> Wars movie. I look like I, the dark the dark side of the force has uh, percolated and, uh, and permeated my body here. But uh, <laughs> this show is about you. So let's talk a little bit about you. You were fifth place at the NPC USA Championships over the summer. Um you were originally planning to shut it down and wait till next year, and uh, you got a little bit of uh, renewed energy. Tell us a little bit about the decision to do the nationals. Uh, um, well, again, the last time that we interviewed, you had asked, you know, if it didn't go well, would I plan on doing another show? And at that point in time, I was already spent. That was the last um, motivation and energy that I had left in me. And so when I got fifth, you know, like I said, I, I d wasn't planning on going back uh, again. Um, and then a couple weeks into it, one of my sponsors, um, TLC Images, um, uh, the owner is Tracy Kogan. She came to me and she said, you know, you know, I really believe in you and I'm in your corner right now. And I would be more than happy to send you to nationals to, you know, go get your go and try and get your pro card again, because I really think that you could do it. And I wasn't about to say no to that if someone believes in you that much and is in your corner you should take advantage of that and I definitely just hop right back into it even though I had taken a good month off um, and I'd done some damage I definitely put in the time to to make up for that and to give it my all again if she's going to help me with it if anyone's going to help me with it I'll be more than happy to put in um, the effort and time to make it happen. Now, you know, we were talking before the show and, you know, you, you made a, a, an interesting point. I was like asking, you know, what, you know, some of your hobbies are, what you do in your spare time. And now you're, you know, a respiratory specialist, uh, you know, by day, so to speak. That's your real job. You really have no time to do anything else. I mean, you've pretty much put all your energy and focus into becoming the best bikini competitor you are. And obviously you have to make sacrifices for that. That's right. Um, and and a, a lot, too. I mean... And most serious competitors do they 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 do you know give up some of their um, passions and side hobbies to do mm -hmm. the work necessary um, to make this happen. But for me, yeah, I I, I love uh, one of my passions was gymnastics and tumbling and um, fine arts, which I basically let go because during the day, you know, from eight to five, six o'clock. I'm a respiratory specialist and I'm in doctor's office. I'm helping patients out. Um, and then when I get home, I, you know, put on my sweats and I go to the gym and I get home late at night and that's, that's pretty much it. But I've been trying to, you know, find a better balance because I am finding myself getting more burnt out than, than in the past. And I need to re I need to realize and be able to incorporate bringing that balance in of other things that help level out this chaotic portion of it. So I've been working on bringing the tumbling back and doing a little bit more uh, drawing to help with that. Yeah, you know, it, it is tough. And, you know, I've, I've conceptually written about six books already, but I just haven't had time to put the, the concepts on paper because I don't have any time <laughs> left in the day. So I can relate to what you're saying in that sense. Um, obviously, the nationals being the most important thing for you right now, um, you, you know, obviously considered one of the favorites in that class A bikini, uh, which is one of the more difficult classes uh, up there. Um, yes. What do you think you need to do to improve and what have you worked on improving over these last couple months since the USA Championships? Oh, that's a good, that's a good question. So the first time, um, you know, since, I guess since last year, let me back up, last year when I did figure, um, I, I had moved to figure because they originally had said, you know, your body type screams a little bit more figure. I think you should, you know, give that a shot. I did, and I did really well um, at nationals in figure. I got I got third at junior nationals last year, um, but at the same time, the head judge and some of the other judges said, you know, your muscle bellies aren't full enough. You're really lean, and you have these beautiful lines, but your muscle bellies aren't full enough, so come back with a little bit more size. Like I said, you know, the last time we spoke, I 
couldn't put on uh, the amount of size that I think they wanted me to because it was interfering with um, how I present myself at work and it was kind of scaring some of the physicians that I see and I didn't I don't want that affecting my paycheck obviously but it's this is one of my passions I'm going to do it so I went back down to bikini and going to, back to bikini I knew that I was going to have to drop size so I completely rearranged my whole you know diet and my exercise um, completely different than I had ever done before to try and drop some muscle mass, especially in my arms and back, which they, they didn't like. I've incorporated way more cardio, way more than I'm comfortable or used to doing. But like I said, I'm, I'm serious about it. If, if that's what they're going to tell me needs to happen for me to, you know, succeed, then I'll do it. And so at, for the USA's, I came in and still, you know, the head judge said that you're, you're extremely beautiful. You always place in the top five because you have amazing lines. Um, you're exotic looking. You're beautiful, but you have more muscle mass and size than the NPC would like to see. And that was the last piece of feedback that I got from the USA. So ever since then, again, I've been incorporating way more cardio than I would like to. Um, I've just changed so many things around to try and drop that size, but it's a lot more challenging than I originally thought it would would be. I would I would have never dreamed that it would be a difficult thing to try and lose size. Most people think, oh, it's it's hard to gain the size. Well, it's hard to lose the size as well. So that's just what I've been um, focusing on on doing. If that's what they're telling me is stopping me from placing higher. I'll, t I'll tell you, you want to lose some size. I can, I can tell you firsthand how to lose some size. Get get a bike and go bike like, you know, 15 miles a day. And mm -hmm. you, the size will come right off you, I guarantee it. Because uh, at least it does with me. Because my Probably on, on someone like you, you'll probably build muscle doing that. But I've been just <laughs> shredding my metabolism apart. But, you know, you're right. It, people, you know, think, oh, she, what a big problem she's got. She's got to lose muscle. But it is hard. Once you got the muscle, the muscle doesn't want to go away. And really, the only way to, to get it off is to starve it off. And I hate to say it because it's an unhealthy way to do it. But you got to yeah. cut the protein back. And you can't eat a lot of protein. As soon as you eat protein, you won't lose muscle. You can do – it doesn't matter what you do. It won't leave. And it's funny that you say that because I'm, I'm scared to express that because I don't want people to get the, the wrong opinion of – you know, the, the right or healthy thing to do. Right. But in all honesty, I have been having to cut back um, a lot on, on my protein and in other areas. And I've been <laughs> most definitely the most hungry that I've ever been in any um, prep before. So it is definitely an uncomfortable and, and new territory, but it, it's, it's just hard. But I'll, like I said, I'll do it. <laughs> I, are you miserable now to be in a relationship with right about this time, you know, about two weeks out? <laughs> And I'm pretty sure he's miserable, too. <laughs> but he still hangs in there, and he supports me, so it's good. That's what I meant. I meant, are you miserable to be with? In other words, oh, I am. <laughs> Actually, I'm just kidding. I'm not that bad. I really do keep it in check. I, I really I do a good job of, of, you know, keeping that personal side to me um, in balance and not taking out my aggression or hanger on, on anyone else. I, I like your... Uh your apartment or wherever you're living there. I see the backdrop there. It's pretty cool. It looks very, uh, very artistic and very like, uh, like, like yuppie-ish almost, you know, hip, hip, <laughs> hip. you're a hipster. <laughs> did you decorate? Oh yes, I did. Sorry. Um, I'm in this, I'm just putting this, um, in view right now because this is actually a, a house that I just bought. Um, I've been saving up to buy a house for a while now, and I got this guy all by myself. It's around 2,100 square feet, and wow. I've got two acres of land, but it's a fixer-upper. So a lot of the house is being gutted right now, so I don't want to show a whole uh, lot of it. Um, so it's definitely under construction right now, but it's going to be what I what I imagined and dreamed of it in probably a year or so. Now, you're going to do the fixing up it yourself, or you have people coming here to do it? Like oh, no. um, my, my boyfriend, who's actually, he's a doctor of chiropractic, but his, uh, his hobby is construction. He's, he's an awesome handyman, and he's actually already remodeled. Um, um, he's, under, he's, he's remodeled the bathroom, the entire master bedroom. Um, he's doing the 
uh, bathrooms right now, and he's in the process of doing the kitchen. So wow. he's got a lot on his plate, and I definitely wouldn't wouldn't have got this house in particular if it wasn't for for him being able to do the things that he can. So well, it's, it's been nice. It's good. While you're dieting for the show, he can, you know, uh, and you're not neglecting him, he could then go do his construction, and, uh, <laughs> and, and this way you guys will be busy all the time, right? Exactly. <laughs> And most of his time is spent um, trying to um, fix me with his healing hands. I have a lot of joint issues and alignment issues, and he's able to adjust me right around the corner on the table. Nice wow. dating character. It looks like that. you. It almost looks like you researched the perfect person for you because you got someone who could heal you and someone who could redo your house for you at the same time. I work. I think meticulously about these things. Everything <laughs> is a, has a reason. <laughs> now, does he cook meals too, or is that your job? Um, he used to, but now I'm getting so picky about everything that I'll j I just do it on my own. But you. when I was in for figure, he was doing my prep when I was in figure because that was that's something that he's comfortable doing, and so he made all my meals and everything like that. But now that I made the step back down to bikini, he just kind of put his hands up and said, "Oh, okay, whole new territory. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that." Yeah, it's basically like a, a food. To the it's like the opposite of like uh, of doing figure. It's like how can I deconstruct my body, basically. Exactly, and he doesn't want to partake in that. It's you. too complicated. Now you mentioned to me after the show uh, to de-stress, you're going to Thailand for a week. Now that's a a pretty uh, far trip to take. What drew you to Thailand? Why why are you going there? Um, well, I I I love to travel. I, I've traveled all over um, Europe. Um, all over the United States, but I've never been anywhere tropical whatsoever. Um, one of my biggest um, uh, interests is is Asian culture, and so I'm I'm thinking, well, I love Asian culture, I love tropical beaches. Thailand has both uh, both of those things, so we're kind of detouring to see both aspects of it. We're starting in Bangkok and we're seeing all the, you know, ancient temples and ruins and experiencing the culture, which I've always wanted, like I said, always wanted to see. And then we're ending um, the last part of the week in Kofifi, which is a tropical island. Um, and like I said, I've been so busy always putting all of myself into, you know, competing and work. I've been forgetting to find that balance with with me and what I actually need. And so this was kind of like a Christmas present to myself, a reward to myself for everything that I've done um, the last couple of years. And just to give me a little bit of a, a re-energizer, a boost, and, and to come out, come out fresh again to, to start a new year. So I've been saving up for it. And I, I, know, I know it's only a week, and that's not very long, but that's all I could get off for work. So I'm going to make the most of it. Uh, will you eat and partake in the local foods, customs, you know, like they have their own little locality, like different weird foods? Because I watch Anthony Bourdain all the time, and he eats all these crazy, you know, cockroaches and all kinds of nutty stuff they have in Thailand. Will you partake in that? No, I will not partake in that. I am not eating in any of the bazaars and the, um, you know, local foods right off the um, the shop plate. I, I, like I said, I talk to a lot of physicians all day long. Um, I have a couple of physician friends who have been to Thailand. Um, three of them actually who went said that they ate a cockroach or some other specialty bug, you know, in the streets. Um, and afterwards they ended up getting typhoid or some other oh crazy God. disease. And they spent the, you know, the whole part of their whole vacation sick there. So I'm not even risking yeah. that. I'll, I'll do, I'll do everything else. I'm not, not eating any bugs. I'm not doing that. That's that's acceptable. Do you uh, do you have to take any special vaccinations when you go to Thailand? No, all that they recommend is that you get your annual um, flu shot, you get your tetanus and Hep B, and that's pretty much it. You can go above and beyond and get some extra, you know, malaria shots and and whatnot, but they're not mandatory and they do cost a pretty penny. Um, coming back, I might have to get shots, but going there, I don't need to get anything. Right. Well, it sounds. Sounds like you got uh, a little fun ahead of you, but t going into nationals, obviously this week we'll we'll see you in Miami, Florida. When we get down there, uh, you'll be representing Species Nutrition, which I'm very proud to say that you are one of our you know uh, elite athletes. And very excited uh, wanna, about that. Thank you. I want to congratulate you on that. What what product have you been in, uh, employing in your uh, I guess your contest regimen the most over the last couple of weeks? 
Say that one more time. Which of our products, which of the species nutrition products have you employed the most, used the most oh. over the last couple of weeks, especially as you get towards <laughs> the contest, at the end of the contest? Most definitely um, the isolized, but the uh, bef above everything else, it's definitely been the protolize. I love the chocolate pudding and the um, uh, cookies and cream protolize. That has been my favorite, and it's been my, my staple every night when I'm starting to get that extreme um, hunger craziness and I'm not really allowed anything even though I can't have a lot of protein I will cut the serving size in half and it'll stop my uh, sweet tooth from getting worse so that's definitely been my my staple and a lot of people are always asking because I have the um, sample packs of it and I carry it around with me everywhere and they're, everyone's always wondering what I'm pulling out of my purse and mixing water in and you know eating with this tiny spoon with so that's definitely what I've been seeing the most with um, for this entire prep is the the protolize. Well, now we know the secrets of Sandra Blockman. Uh, we will see her up on stage at the NPC Nationals in Miami, Florida, next Friday and Saturday. Sandra, mm -hmm. best of luck in the last week of prep, and uh, you know we'll be Thank reporting you. on how everything goes out in Miami, Florida. Awesome! I look forward to seeing you guys there. All right. Thanks again. Well, that takes us to the end of another episode of Live with. Sponsored by Results Nutrition. I'm Dave Palumbo. We'll see you next time.